YouTube folks, it's Mr. Two here. Welcome to my uh, sixth Beyblade Burst Evolution Switch Strike unboxing. So here we have Doom Sizer D3. I know it's a lucky, lucky, lucky find because I literally had to go into my store in Germany yesterday and I literally had to get this because it was quite rare. Um, I didn't see it so much in my other store here in Switzerland, so it was not so common, so I really literally had to get this. It is in tactile, by the way. So package overview as I usually do with Doom Sizer D3. Here we have uh, Doom Sizer D3 wrecking uh, Tempest Wyvern. Um, four, uh, I think four Glaive Atomic. Yeah, uh, four G Atomic, uh, which I don't have. I'm soon gonna get that bay. Beyblade Burst Evolution. Uh, here's Doom Size D3. Here's another launcher the LR launcher and here we have uh, the basic features of Doom Size D3 so it has a sliding blade attack which means this part like moves when it collides against another bay and then we, here we have the tight spin path which is a uh, hunter which is quite similar I think similar to extreme and also to uh, Metal Fight Beyblades RF for R2F so yeah here are the parts and the copyrights, yeah, let's get it open. This must be the cleanest packaging ever, like seriously. Here we go, instructions, ripcord, and here we have the, that. So here we have it, people. I got everything out of the package. As you can see, clean packaging again, so I kind of like it on how I box uh, Burst Evolution packages. But anyway, here we have instructions. They're not really important, so I won't go over them. Uh, launcher, this is like my fifth launcher right now, the LR uh, Ripcord launchers. They are really ha uh, handy, but I think I'll just put them aside because I don't need them for now. Anyway, here we come to the energy layer, which is Doom Sizer D3. It is a specialty because it has this, wait, uh, something is supposed to move, I totally have no idea what's supposed to move, ah, here we go, it's this, this blue part right here, so whenever it collides, it goes like that, and then comes back out, it goes like that, I don't know if it extends or not, but that's, that, that's just the mechanism of this blue part, I don't know what this blue part is supposed to serve, I mean, according to the package, it says spring, uh, the little spring blade attack, I think. But that's kind of pretty cool. It doesn't even look like a spring here. I think it's just a little, uh, screw or some nail that just, yeah. You get the idea. So that's Doom Size D3, as you can tell. Quite similar to my broken D2 right here. See the Grim Reaper's face right there? Now it's, like, much more detailed, because you know how Switch Strike Bays are. They have to be more detailed in Evolution. So yeah, so there you go. And then here we come to the forge disc. It's two part, so which means we have a two disc right over here. My, uh, why can I? Okay, hold on, people. Okay, this seems a little bit tight to take out. <laughs> hold on. Okay, there we go, people. I managed to get the disc out, so. I mean, I've just managed to twist it. Now, how do I get, oh, holy moly. This is getting on my nerves now. Ah, there we go. Okay, with great difficulty, I managed to get it out. So here we have the two disc, very good for defense. And uh, I think, I guess it would be good for attack too, even though uh, D3 is uh, attack type. I mean, I also have the two disc on my uh, Kreese 2 Mess 3, uh, two glaive loop. So yeah, I mean, this is two vortex, so it's just different. And in difficulty, maybe I can switch the two, the two discs. There we go. So it'll be much easier for me to uh, get it off if I want to customize or anything like that. So that should easily slip in there. Uh, maybe just the two disc is just a little bit tight against the vortex frame. But anyway, you get the idea. Here we have my burst driver, which is Hunter. It's... My iPhone always fails to focus on this. Okay, now it's focused. I cannot tell if this is rubber or not. Maybe it is rubber. It is kind of like... Uh, Iron, I guess, the iron, um, driver from, uh, uh, Exilius X3, but, um, the something that makes this, uh, special is the tight spin path, so I might say it has the similar movements to R2F from Metal Fight Beyblade. I love the way and how it's designed and constructed, like, uh, it's like these, uh, bat fangs. It, it could suit, uh, Satum better than, uh, uh, Doom Sizer D3, but you get my idea. 
And that's the symbol for Hunter, which kind of looks like a spiral of some sort. Yep, right there. So yeah, set him up, guys. Doom Sizer D3, which is so tight. But there you go, guys. There's Doom Sizer D3, two Vortex, Hunter. Let's go up. Okay, now people, I won't be doing a test battle between D2 and D3 because uh, my D2 broke. I mean, I can still fix it with the uh, super glue, but it numerously came out, so I just let it stay like this. Hey, it still works. I mean, I do have a spare up there, so um, I, I won't be unboxing that spare or giving it away because, I don't know, I just want to keep it, so I just want to keep D D2 like this. But anyway, I'm going to test battle D3 against all of my four Switch Strike base, which I already own, so let's do it, guys. First up with Valtric... Uh, V3, 6 Vortex Reboot, that's a blast. That trick go first, and then Doom Sizer D3. Whoa, that is amazing. Oh, Reboot! Oh, maybe first finish, we don't know. And there you go, who is- Oh, it is D3 for the next up versus Crease the Tomb. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, what nice hits. I'm kind of liking Hunter right now. Who's going to get a first finish? Oh, no, no, no. So Tomb, you suck. Silas, you suck. It is, uh, Daigo for the win. Yeah. Rock Devore R3, uh, four, four cross full go. Okay. Oh, first finish! That's amazing! And my, uh, Rock Devore R3 layer have to fly somewhere. Last battle, James Sapphire ate nothing. Woo! Uh, maybe spin steel, we don't know. Oh god, oh god. This is so amazing. Come on, Doom Sizer. D3, you can do this. No burst finish is seen yet for D3. I don't know why. Fafnir is stalling. Can stamina keep up against attack? We don't know. And there you go, people. Attack is down. It is stamina for the win. Okay, people. Before I make it a closing, an official closing, that is, I'm going to unbox several more things that I bought from various stores. I mean, these two packets, which are my Beyblade Burst Panini stickers, I bought them from um, from France like a few few days ago, or like uh, I don't know. But I'm just gonna unbox these because I never opened them yet. So anyway, um, and then this, these are just uh, special mark tape that I want to uh, get because uh, I'm gonna decorate or spice up my base stadiums a little. So yeah, behind, I have a whole lot of base stadiums right there. So if you're wondering. Yeah, I'm just gonna decorate uh, the sides and like also the front. Maybe probably like a burst anime style or something like that with the, the this kind of tape. So it's all in different colors, two black, white, red, yellow, and green, so yeah. And then, yeah. Some boxies. So everybody, I got everything out of the package, as you can tell. Um, these are the stickers that came with it. Uh, I won't be going to every one of them because I will be selling them on Etsy. And w the link is in the comment section and in the description if you want to check that out. It, they're not that expensive. Um, the the buyer will just only uh, receive five stickers for uh, for only one one dollar or one euro or one franc or wherever in the world you live in or whichever currency you have. It's just gonna be one, one, one. But please note that um, if you are outside of uh, Europe or Switzerland, um, you have to pay a two, two dollar fee for shipping or three. I can't, can't remember. It's not that much. So shipping is also not that much. I decided to make it expensive for international buyers because I want to have a little earnings for myself. So yeah, I know I did not create these, it's Panini, but I'm just selling them off because these are duplicate stickers, because I already filled up my album. I can make a separate video about uh, the album overview, like the updated version of the album overview, including the poster. So yeah, I didn't decide to hang it up on the wall, but anyway, I also have tons of stickers to sell. I know these are a box full of them. There's just all duplicates that I just don't need. So yeah, I just, just decided to sell them off, so yeah, that's all. Um, I'm just gonna remove all these stickers and add this to the pile. Right so these things, I won't be unboxing them, but they're just uh, tape for just to make my base stadium look decorative, I guess. So yeah, I hope they are not that sticky, but yeah. Anyway, closing time. Um... So my wonderful YouTube fans, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll subscribe back to you. If you love this unboxing, please give it a big thumbs up. If you don't like, you could dislike it. I do not mind. But anyway, don't forget to put this on English on my caption CC button down there. 
Also, a few business cards to advertise. Myself, Falco2762, because I'm that awesome with Naga in the background. Hashtag time to tip the base. So, yeah. And then, my subscribe to my very good friend from Germany, Cherbeliever14. He's really amazing. Check, his, uh, check out his channel. So, yeah, I have a business business card. That. And then, don't forget to check out the Divine Portolo. He's an eBay seller from eBay, of course. I don't know if he sells on Amazon, but uh, you can check out his Instagram and watch his video. And yep, there's the Divine Portal. Oh, yep. and that's all, people. If you want to see more unboxings, they're gonna come soon. I just had to plan out my schedule and time, money, you know, everything. I have to save up and blah blah blah. Uh, my next uh, online, my scheduled online shopping is in February 2019. So I um, cannot wait for, cannot wait for that to get Flame Sagittarius and whatnot. And yeah, that's all. Bye guys, fuck two cents to out.